I told you boys we were gonna have a banger today, and that's exactly what you're getting. Little bit of a different setup, currently in the process of moving out of my apartment, so that's why it's so weird. I don't have my desk anymore. I mean, look, my computer's on the floor. But despite that, I'm still here to bring you guys the bangers, what I've been promising. We're talking about the best player from every state in the United States of America in Major League Baseball. You guys love the best player from every country video. I saw a ton of comments saying, you gotta do the best player from every state in America, so here you are on the screen. I thought it was a great idea, and I thought, let's roll with it. So that's exactly what you're getting today. As always, if you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure to leave a like on it. That's the best way to show your support. Subscribe if you're new and you enjoy the content. If you love baseball, this is the place to be. Make sure you hit that sub button. Get in the comment section below. I'm sure you guys are going to disagree with me. It seems to be a popular thing to do on this channel, but I don't mind it. I love the conversation. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at GiraffeNick. Mark links in the description to both of those. And let's just hop right into the video. Started off down south in the great state of Alabama, the best player from this state has to be Corey Kluber, starting pitcher for the Cleveland Indians. Since 2014, Kluber has been one of the best pitchers in the American League, winning two Cy Young awards and finishing third twice. 2019, not off to the best start. He is on the IL. Nobody in 2019 from the state of Alaska has made an appearance in the MLB, so we skip on to Arizona, and the best player from that state has to be Cody Bellinger. The dude is on an absolute tear. Cody Bellinger had a strong rookie season in 2017, playing out of his mind. 2018, a little bit of a letdown, but 2019, boy, has he been incredible easily the best player in the game thus far. If he keeps this up, he's going to have one of the better seasons that we've seen in quite some time in Major League Baseball, and he is definitely the best player from Arizona. Heading back down south, the state of Arkansas, only five players in Major League Baseball from there, the best one being Blake Parker. Blake Parker, one of the more underrated relievers in the game. He has an under 3.3 ERA the last two seasons, and he's off to a great start with the Twins this year with a 1.2 ERA and a one whip. Parker may not be this guy who's exciting out of the pen, but he gets the job done, and he's the best player from the state of Arkansas. Now we head out West to California, a hotbed for baseball, 168 different Major League Baseball players, but there's one that rises above the rest, and that is Christian Yelich of the Milwaukee Brewers. Christian Yelich had an amazing 2018, winning the MVP and putting up some crazy numbers, and he has continued to go on a tear in 2019. Yelich has been so good since joining the Brewers, he's arguably the second best player in baseball, and even though there's so much talent in the state of California, Christian Yelich definitely rises to the top as the best player. Colorado is known for a lot of things, but not really baseball. The best player from that state's going to be reliever Mark Melanson. Mark Melanson's a really good reliever. From 2013 to 2016, the dude had an under 2.3 ERA. 2017, a little rough. 2018, he recovered a bit. In 2019, he's off to a pretty decent start. Not a lot to choose from in Colorado, but he is definitely a good player and the best player from that state. For the state of Connecticut, it comes down to two outfielders, AJ Pollock and George Springer. Pollock, good player, but the best one has to be George Springer. He's having an MVP type season in 2019, leading the league in home runs, RBIs, hits, runs, slugging percentage, OPS. While 2018 was a down year, he had a great 2017. He's one of the best leadoff hitters in the game, and he's just been going off in 2019. Best player from Connecticut. Heading a little south of Connecticut to the second small state in the United States, the best player from Delaware is Paul Goldschmidt of the Cardinals. Goldschmidt's one of the more underrated players in all of baseball. This is a first baseman who hits for power, can play gold glove defense, can run the bases. He's going to hit you 300 on base at 400. Paul Goldschmidt is the complete package, and Delaware's only got two other players to choose from besides him. He's the clear choice. This next state pumps out baseball players like it's their job. The best player from the state of Florida is pitcher of the New York Mets, Jacob deGrom. There's a lot of talent in the state of Florida, but Jacob deGrom, he's the best. Won the Cy Young in 2018 with one of the best pitching seasons we've seen in a while. Prior to 2018, he was a very solid pitcher, but he finally made that jump forward and he's become one of the best in the game, therefore making him the best player from the state of Florida. We're talking about Florida's neighbor to the north, Georgia, and the best player from that state is Lorenzo Cain. It's crazy to think that Cain is the best player from the state of Georgia, considering he only started playing baseball in high school. And let me tell you, he made the right decision. One of the best center fielders in all of baseball, gets to any ball that gets hit out there, hits for average, doesn't strike out, runs the bases. He's a huge X factor for the Brewers, best player from Georgia. Gonna go way out west to the islands of Hawaii. The best player from there is actually gonna be Kirby Yates of the Padres. Breakout season last year for Kirby Yates. This year, he's got the closer role, and he is not giving it up. He has an under 1.5 ERA. He leads the league in saves. Kirby Yates has been filthy. Best player from Hawaii. For the state of Idaho, there's only one player. It's Josh Osich, pitcher for the White Sox. Yeah, there's not a lot to talk about here. The guy's not a great reliever. He's just simply the only player from Idaho, so Josh Osich. For the state of Illinois, it came down to two players, Jake Odorizzi and Jay Happ. I'm gonna pick Jay Happ as the best player from Illinois, and here's why. While Happ may not be the fun pitcher 
pitcher to watch. He doesn't throw hard, crafty lefty, doesn't strike out a lot of batters. He gets results. He wins games. And while Jake Odorizzi is having a nice year, the last two seasons have been a bit shaky for him. So I'm going with Jay Happ from Illinois. Another Midwestern state, the best player from Indiana is Jeff Samarja. We all know about Samarja's days playing football at Notre Dame, but he had a pretty good career as a major league baseball player. It's been rough the last few years, but there's not a lot of talent from the state of Indiana. So kind of because of that, he's the best guy. He definitely has the talent, just hasn't been showing it recently. For the state of Iowa, there's only five players from there. The best one though is Michael Waka. Waka came onto the scene hot in 2015 as a 23-year-old winning 17 games, a 3.38 ERA. It looked like you were seeing the makings of a future ace. He's definitely hit some bumps in the road since then, but 2018 looked to be a step forward despite battling injuries. Waka's definitely the best player from Iowa. The state of Kansas, only three players. The choice was obvious though, it's Blake Trinan. Blake the Witch Trinan has been filthy since landing in Oakland. His pitches look nasty. It looks like someone's pulling them with a string. He's striking out batters like crazy. He doesn't give up any runs. He's closing games. Blake Trinan's the best player from Kansas. Kentucky may not have a professional baseball team, but it has put out some good players. The best one in Major League baseball right now though, Walker Bueller. Bueller came out in 2018 with a strong rookie season, finishing third in the rookie of the year. 2019 has been a little bit of a rougher start, but we can see that Bueller has a lot of talent and he's definitely the best player from the state of Kentucky. We're heading to the bayou for this one. The best player from the state of Louisiana is going to be Aaron Nola, pitcher for the Phillies. Aaron Nola had a breakout season in 28, finally getting to that potential they all once saw finished third in the Cy Young voting, a sub 2.5 ERA, a whip under one. 2019 hasn't been a dream start for him, but this dude clearly has a lot of talent and he's the best player from Louisiana. No players from Maine, so we skip on over to Maryland. The best player from there being the nasty left-handed reliever, Josh Hader. I've said it before and I've said it again. When this guy comes into the game, I have no doubt that he's going to close it out. He's filthy. He has that hard fastball, devastating slider. He reminds me a lot of Randy Johnson back in the day. Josh Hader is just so filthy, making him the best player from Maryland. Gonna move back up into the Northeast. We're talking about Massachusetts. The best player from this state is Rich Hill. Rich Hill, one of the older players making this list, had a bit of an interesting major league career, came up, then disappeared, then came back strong. Again, Rich Hill may not be the most fun pitcher to watch, but he gets the job done. He's a crafty lefty, nasty curveball. Rich Hill's the best player from Massachusetts. Heading on out to the Great Lakes, we're talking about the best player from Michigan. There's only four to choose from, and the best one is going to be Paul Fry, reliever of the Orioles. He's actually a pretty decent reliever, but there really weren't a lot of better choices. Matt Shoemaker gets hurt all the time. Richie Martin and John Birdie, no. So Paul Fry gets to be the best player from Michigan. For the state of Minnesota, there's only five players to choose from, but the choice is obvious, and that player is Brad Hand. Brad Hand, of course, broke out with the Padres, and then he was traded to the Indians, and has done great in the closer role there. I don't want to make it sound like he didn't have a lot of competition, but he really didn't have a lot of competition. He was the easy choice for the state of Minnesota. For the state of Mississippi, it was a tough choice, but I think the best player from there is going to be Corey Dickerson. Now, Corey Dickerson's only played four games in 2019 due to injury, but he had a breakout season in 2018, and he also had a great season in 2017. He plays gold glove defense. He can hit for some power, hits for average. Corey Dickerson's a really solid player. The best one for Mississippi for sure. Now, the state of Missouri only has six players to choose from, but the choice is so incredibly obvious. He's the best pitcher in baseball, Max Scherzer. Mad Max Scherzer is disgusting. And the dude's won multiple Cy Young awards, throws multiple no hitters. He's one of the filthiest pitchers in the game. The dude just absolutely shoves. Like I said, only six players to choose from, but come on, Max Scherzer's pretty much beating out any player in baseball besides like Mike Trout, Christian Yelich. He's really good. For the state of Montana, there's only one player to choose from. It's Caleb Frere of the White Sox. Career 6.52 ERA, 1.65 whip. I mean, we get the gist why he's on here. Heading to the College World Series state, we're talking about Nebraska. Only three players to choose from, but there's a decent choice, and that's Alex Gordon. Gordon's having a strong 2019, but the last three or four seasons have been a bit rough. He's great in the outfield defensively, but the offense has kind of disappeared. Although if he keeps it up in 2019, he's definitely going to put up a solid season for the Royals. For the best player in Nevada, it's down to Bryce Harper and Chris Bryant. I had to give it to Bryce Harper though. He definitely is a better player. While Bryce Harper is off to a slump in 2019, and I don't think he's a top 10 player in baseball, he's still a really good player and you should not overlook him. He can hit for power. He gets on base. He has a cannon in the outfield. Defensively, yeah, say what you want, but Bryce Harper is a good player. We all know it. He's the best player from the state of Nevada. Nobody from New Hampshire would which means we head to my home state of New Jersey and we know who the best player is from there. It's so obvious, it's Mike Trout. Trout is the best player in baseball. I say this every video because he comes up on every single one. He's gonna go down as one of the best to ever play the game. He hits for power, he runs well, he drives in RBIs, he can play the field, he does it all. Mike Trout's the complete package. He's the clear best player in baseball and he's clearly the best player from New Jersey. Next up is New Mexico and the best player from New Mexico, while there wasn't a lot of choices, is Alex Bregman and boy is he good. Bregman, one of my favorite players in the league, yes, broke out 
out last year, showing that he can hit for power. He gets on base, plays good defense in the field, can run the bases. Alex Bregman's a complete player, one of my favorite guys in all the game. He just plays the game the right way. Big fan of Alex Bregman, best player from New Mexico. For the best player from New York, it was a bit of a tough decision, but the player I ended up choosing was Patrick Corbin of the Nationals. Corbin started off his career strong, but then had Tommy John, had a little bit of trouble coming back, but last year he broke out yet again. He had a great season, ended up getting paid by the Nationals, and has had a good start to 2019. Patrick Corbin, best player from New York. Heading down south to North Carolina, the best player from there is going to be big old Mass and Bumgarner. Bumgarner is still a very good pitcher in the league. It's just unfortunate he plays for the San Francisco Giants, who are atrocious. You're going to see his name thrown around a lot at the trade deadline. He's going to go to a contender. He's going to be super valuable to them. One of the best postseason pitchers we've ever seen. So while the Giants may not be succeeding, Mad Bum's still doing well. Best player from North Carolina. For the state of North Dakota, there's only one player, and that's going to be Matt Strom, pitcher for the Padres. Matt Strom actually had a great 2018 with the Padres, a 2.05 ERA, under one whip, and he's off to a great start in 2019. So even though he's the only player from North Dakota, he actually probably deserves a spot on this list. He's pretty good. Back to the Midwest, honestly didn't know this player was from the state of Ohio, but we're talking about Andrew Benintendi of the Red Sox. Another one of the players that I absolutely love to watch play. He slaps the ball all over the place, plays pretty good defense out in left field. He's your prototypical number two hitter, big part of that Boston Red Sox lineup. Really good player. I love watching him play. He's the best player from the state of Ohio. We head back to the Midwest to Oklahoma. Again, another player I didn't know who was from there, but he's the best choice. JT Realmuto, definitely the best player from Oklahoma. He's the best catcher in baseball. He hits for power. He can run as a catcher. He's great behind the plate. I hate that he's on the Phillies because I have to root against him. I, I like watching this guy play because he's a really good ball player. Best one from Oklahoma. Gonna go out to the Pacific Northwest here. We're talking about Oregon and the best player from there is reliever Adam Simber. Not a lot to choose from in Oregon. Not a big baseball place. Adam Simber's a decent reliever. Nothing special throws a little funky. So that's pretty much all I got to say about him. Best player from Oregon. The state of Pennsylvania was a tough choice. Do you go with Neil Walker, who's had a better career, or Lou Trevino, who's been playing for two years and has been pretty nasty? For this one, I'm going to go with Neil Walker. Neil Walker, former Met. Of course, everyone knows him from the Pirates. He had some great years with the Mets. He was decent with the Yankees. He was great with the Pirates. I think Neil Walker's actually a really solid player, and he's doing pretty well with the Marlins this year. So he's going to be my choice as the best player from Pennsylvania. We are now at the smallest state in the United States of America, Rhode Island. There's two choices. Chris Ionetta or Thomas Pannone. Have you ever heard of Thomas Pannone? Probably not. That makes Chris Ionetta the choice. Ionetta's been around for quite some time, debuted in 2006. Never really lived up to the potential, but he's stuck around for 13 seasons, so he must be good enough, and he's the best player from Rhode Island right now. Heading back down south to the state where I went to college, South Carolina. The best player from that state's gonna be Whit Merrifield, former University of South Carolina Gamecock, just like me. I'm a big fan of Whit Merrifield. Prior to meeting him and interviewing him, I was a big fan, but after talking to the guy, he's such a nice dude. I hope he does so well. Well, he's led the American League in hits the last two seasons. He steals bases. He can play a bunch of different positions. He has some pop in his bat. I'm a huge Whit Merrifield fan. He's definitely the best player from South Carolina. For the state of South Dakota, there's only one player, but he's pretty good. Closer for the Washington Nationals, Sean Doolittle. Doolittle's probably one of the more underrated relievers in all of baseball. Nobody talks about him as a top closer, but he has produced the last couple seasons. I don't necessarily know if he'd get onto this list in a lot of different states, but he's the only guy from South Dakota, so he gets on. When you're talking about the best player from Tennessee, it's gotta be Mookie Betts of the ball. Boston Red Sox. Arguably the second best player in the game, although I have him at three now. Mookie Betts is so incredibly talented. One of the more fun players to watch in baseball. Hits for power, can run the bases. One of the best fielding outfielders in the game. Mookie Betts is the complete package. Definitely the best player from Tennessee. Texas, another powerhouse for producing baseball players. So much talent, 72 different players from there. But in my opinion, the best player from Texas is Anthony Rendon. I get to watch this guy play firsthand a lot as a Mets fan because of the Nationals. And let me tell you, he is a special player. Rendon Rendon just plays the game the right way. He can hit for power. He plays good third base. He's a very clutch player. You look at his numbers and you go, wow, he's really that good? I hear nothing about him. He's super underrated. So for the state of Texas, Anthony Rendon's my pick. Heading to the Commonwealth state that is Virginia, the best player from there is going to be Justin Verlander. Verlander's like a fine wine. He's only gotten better with age since coming to Houston. He's revitalized his career. He's pitching at Cy Young levels again, and he's a huge part of that Houston Astros success. Verlander, best player player from Virginia. Heading up back to the Pacific Northwest, the best player from there is the 2018 American League Cy Young Award winner, Blake Snell. Snell finally broke out in 2018, winning the Cy Young Award with a sub-2 ERA and a sub-1 whip. He's pitching strong again in 2019, showing that he has the nasty stuff that we've been waiting for. 
Blake Snell's a really good pitcher, best one from Washington. I guess technically this next place isn't a state, but I'm gonna include it, Washington DC. The best player is Justin Bohr. Yeah, uh, Justin Bohr did just get sent down to AAA, but he's the only guy from Washington DC. I felt like I should include it. It is our nation's capital. For West Virginia, it's down to two players, Jed Jerko and Harrison Musgrave. And honestly, I don't know who Harrison Musgrave is, so I'm picking Jed Jerko. Jed Jerko's kind of a mediocre player. He has hit for some power in the past, but then he doesn't. He's never played more than 130 games in a season. He's definitely got some pop in his bat, but he's on this list due to the fact that Harrison Musgrave, not much competition. Down to the penultimate state, we're talking about Wisconsin. It's between Pat Neshek and Jordan Zimmerman. For the state of Wisconsin, I'm picking Pat Neshek. He throws the ball super weird, like submarine, but not submarine, but sidearm, but not sidearm. You look at his numbers, he's just a really solid reliever for it. pretty much every year he's been in the majors. He gets the job done. He's kind of fun to watch too. So yeah, Pat Neshek, best player from Wisconsin. And then the final state, the state of Wyoming. There's only one choice there. One of my favorite players in the game struggling a bit in 2019. We're talking about Brandon Nimmo of the New York Mets. He finally got to show off his skills in 2018, had a breakout season, looked really good. 2019 has definitely been rough to say the least, but I think he's still a pretty good player. He's just gotta, he's gotta step it up. There's also no one else from Wyoming. So yeah, Brandon Nimmo's on this list. So those are the players from each state in Major League Baseball, in my opinion. I'd love to know what you guys think. You can let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. I'm sure we're gonna have some disagreements. Remember to leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it. That's the best way to show your support on the channel. Subscribe if you're new. You don't wanna miss out on the baseball content. I got nothing to do, so I'm gonna be making videos a lot. You're gonna wanna see them. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, at Draftneck. Mark links in the description. And you guys know the drill from here on out. We're gonna wrap up the video. YouTube recommends you watch this video right here, as well as this is my most recent upload. So if you have not seen them just yet make sure to click through those check them out support the channel thank you guys for your make support recently we're back on the grind we're ready to go and i'm excited to see what this baseball season has in store bye